lot because it's Briar626 here and today we're going to be doing an unboxing of my boy Nilius Ultra again. Yes, I know, right? Nilius Ultra everywhere. Um, we've got the Arliss Nilius Ultra. Yes, you heard me correctly. We got the Arliss Nilius Ultra. This is really cool. I'm excited for Nilius Ultra. Of course, this is the one that I'm going to be using in my rapid fire deck. Um, and I finally got a hold of one. I, I, I've been needing to get one. Finally found one. We picked it up. There we go. We got it. Uh, of course, it does come with two other Bahu gun here. But we don't really care about those. We care about this guy right here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Alright, so we've got it all opened up here and ready to see what's inside this package. Of course, we do get the closing uh, guide of how to close up the Nilius Ultra. Now, what's interesting about Nilius Ultra, and we'll, I'll, I'll say it here, is that Nilius Ultra here has a silver neck. Um, and there's actually are printed figures that have him with the silver neck. This is the gold version. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know. I'm going to try to see if I can pick up the other one, if I can find it. I know I've seen some people with the silver neck one. I've seen some people with the gold neck one. Um, and there's also like some weird detailing as well. Like some of them have um, all gold. Um, some have all silver. And this is the newest one, I think that has the gold neck, but with the silver and the gold. I, I don't know what's going on with the paint job of Nilius Ultra, um, but it, it shows it here like that. Um, and of course, you also on the back said you have all the, the checklist of everything there. Um, we don't need that. Um, then we also have like the rule books of how to play. Yeet, don't need that. Um, you do get a uh, one of those trainer gate cards, um, which does have a Jeet on it with a uh, Pharaoh on it. So this is our good look of the new character in the TV show here, and it is the Arliss uh, Faction uh, card. Now we do have quite a few of these. I actually have them to the side here. Um, that's actually from a different game, um, but we actually have like a bunch of the darkest ones and a diamond one. Um, so those are the ones we have. I, th I think we're actually going to be getting another one as well. I think we have an Aquas and a Chaos one that will be unboxing here soon. I should be seeing all those cards. Um, and those are actually really cool. Um, they're basically like these, but a full card length version of it. So it's kind of neat. Neat little look. And we'll leave it out here so that we can... Uh, can we roll on them? Uh, let's go ahead and look at the character cards. Because of course we have the Bahu Gun here. We got to see what the Bahu Gun are. And our first character is going to be Nilius Ultra. Now this is the Arliss Nilius Ultra Green Fist Magic Shield 601. So he has a little bit of those low stats um, but he does have that magic shield which could boost him to 1250 um, and he can double core and his Evo is really nasty as well. Um, now, of course, double coring with Nilius, there's two different ways you could do it. Um, I've, I, I want to say I've mastered a way, I haven't done it with him yet, um, but I've done it with my darkest one where I can just snipe with cores with this guy. Um, um, he's just that good. Um, I figured out how to roll him and figure out how to how to make sure he, he hits the cores you want it to be. So he can double core onto magic shields and gain um, 13 onto the 6. So it could be really, really powerful and very, very devastating. And I put him at 1900, uh, which is really high, uh, especially on turn 1. 1900 for your opponent to beat and you haven't even played a card yet. That's, that's really high, even though that's why he has that 1 damage. I'm okay with that. Um, that's not that big of a deal. But when he gets his Evo on there and gets a gear, whoo, whoo, it's dangerous. You don't want to mess with him on that. Um, we're going to hit stick him there. Our next one we have is Chaos Trox Core. Uh, he does have two shields, a 307. So not terrible sights. That uh, that defense or that damage there is pretty good. And that's that guy there, and he does have his cores there. Um, so he's not too bad, not too bad at all. Um, then we have. Our last one, which is the Aquas Pegatrix. Two green fists, 405. Um, so he does have that green fist, so it is kind of nice to have that. Um, the 405 is a little low, but it's kind of also standard at the same time, or at least back in the Battle Brawlers days. Um, don't know how standard it is right now for the um, Armored Alliance stuff, but hey, that's there. Um, and then, of course, you get three cards here. I want to say these are gears. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're gears. We have uh, Silent Spears, which is a very interesting card. Because it doesn't have an effect. Um, there was a release when they released this card um, officially. Uh, officially, I'm gonna put quotations around that. Um, it was back in November where they had like the full list of everything. This card was actually a seven cost and it had an effect. Yeah, 
It was really weird. Now they've released it. Doesn't have a cost, or it has five cost and five uh, 500 B power, no effect. So it's a little weird that they didn't include the effect in this one, but we hopefully we will get that card either in Fusion Force or it's only in Hollow Hex form, which is really rare. Um, I have only seen one person pull it in Hollow Hex, um, and I think that was a hardcore lector who pulled it. Um, but that's the only person I've ever seen pull it. Everybody else hasn't really pulled it yet. Now there's been a bunch of people opening packs and everything, and no one's pulled a Hollow Hex version of this. Um, so. Weird? I don't know. Um, hopefully we get that in Fusion Force if it's not, or we get it in the RRless uh, blind boxes or whatever blind, yeah, blind box, whatever box we're getting that comes with the RRless cards. Hopefully we'll be getting that card in it. I really hope, because it's actually a very powerful card. It basically just destroys everything, um, which is crazy. Uh, then we do get Bahu Thrusters, 4 energies, 3 under 3. And then we get Bolt Bow, uh, two, 2 plus 2 Frost Strike, 100, 0 uh, damage. Um, so those are the um, the little gears that you get with them. We look at the cores here. We do have a Magic Shield, uh, which is a 550. Um, so not the greatest Magic Shield, but you know, hey. Green Fist we have is a plus 3. So that's not too bad, not too bad. The Shield is a minus 3, so you got a little bit of a trap in here. Another Green Fist we have is a 150 plus 1. Um, not terrible. Got another shield. Uh, then we have the 400 onto a Chaos and a Pyrus. Okay. And then their last green fist is 100. Aquas Ventus gets uh, plus three. Um, so those are okay cores. They're not the greatest, but they're okay. They're not too bad. I think that one's probably like the only really decently good one in here. Um, so let's go ahead and pull these out here and look at the Bahugan themselves. Um, let's roll these out here. All right. So, of course, we're going to start off with the boy, my main man, the uh, Nilius Ultra here. Uh, like I was telling you guys, he does have the gold neck. Um, there's ones that have the silver neck. Don't know how that happened or what's going on with that, but he does have the gold neck. Um, he does have the gold and silver highlights there, so I don't know what's up with that too, because that's supposed to be different as well on some of them. Um, so just keep your eye out if you ever find one. I would say pick him up, see if he has the different, uh, different colored necks the back, thing like that, just to see. Um, looks really, really nice. I like Nilius Ultra. I've always been a fan of Nilius, and I've always liked his Nilius Ultra form, and he does double core really easily. Um, so let's go ahead and close him up. The way to do it, of course, you fold his head uh, back, push it down, and you do it exactly like that. Simple and easy. He does have the black arrow, which is really nice. I do have to say, I like the gold um, neck a little bit. It, it does give a nice little shine to it. And the interesting thing is here, it's kind of hard to tell, but under these two um, things, uh, paints of gold here, it's actually silver. Um, there's actually silver paint underneath that's bleeded through. But it's not on the other side, which is really weird. So it's like they painted it silver, and they said, "Ah, oh, now we're gonna paint it gold," and painted it gold. It's really weird, because you can see it in the light. I know it's kind of hard to see on camera. Um, I was gonna try to see if I can get it on camera. It's right there. Let's see. I don't know if we'll focus in, but it's it's there. Um, I'll try to zoom in onto it when uh, in some editing, so you guys can see that, because it's really interesting. Um, but going and getting rolling them, of course. Uh, there's two different ways you can roll with double core. You can roll them forwards or backwards. It's basically meaning rolling with the arrow or rolling against the arrow. Um, I roll them with the arrow just because it actually does end up a lot better. Uh, and it double cores a lot easier that way. Um, so we're going ahead and just going ahead and just try to roll him open here. I haven't rolled this, so I don't know exactly how great he is. There we go. So yeah, so he does double core pretty easily there. Um, pretty easy, just like my darkest one. I've, I've seen people say, oh, no, he has a little bit of issues sometimes. I haven't got, this is not an issue for me so far. Um, maybe like the version they have, the different paints, different versions. Um, we're gonna try to see if I can just snipe it right here. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can snipe it. Yeah, cool. Got it, the two green. So yeah, so that's not bad. That's actually pretty good. Uh, getting able to double core, especially double coring on two really high uh, B power cores, aka the um, those two magic shields. 
is really, really nice. Um, or even just landing on two gear reduction cores to make uh, have minus four instead of minus two. So you can play a four cost gear for free so that you get his evil going off. It, it's really nice. He has some really nice combo uh, synergy going on and being able to double core, it makes him a whole lot better. Um, so definitely try to pick up a Nilius Ultra uh, when you can, because he is a really, really good Bahugan. Um, now let's go ahead and go into the Heos one here. Uh, now this is, of course, is the Heos Trox, and that is what he looks like all closed up. We do have the arrow there. Um, you do have the little hex uh, holes on the sides there. Um, so we're going to kind of roll him with the arrow here and just see what happens. Um, so we're going to do it this way. Roll. Oh, he didn't even, he just plopped open. He didn't even like stay open. Um, there you go. So he pops open like that. Um, now he does, that's basically his feet. His arms do come down like so. Um, and that's, that's really it to him. I and mean, there's nothing really big to him. He does have his 300 B power at the bottom there. Um, it's really it. I mean, just his hands come down. Um, nothing too exciting really about this trucks here. Um, now the feet kind of, I mean, it's kind of weird how this whole gimmick here works. Um, so you can make him look like he's like running that way. Or you can make him look like he's like looking up type thing. Whatever you wanted to do with him, um, but he is kind of a neat little, neat little kind of uh, character going on. Um, the close up, you close the head, close that, and there we go. Cool. You just close it all in like that. It's just kind of just pushes it together. Um, so yeah, so we'll roll him one more time. There we go. Yeah, he just didn't open. Um, so you may have to roll him backwards. I don't know. Um, what his ordeal is, but he's just not gonna, he just wants to keep rolling forward. So that's, but that's Chaos Trox, um, core there. And then we have the Aquas Pegatrix here. Does have the orange arrow there with the magnet there. Um, he does look kind of interesting. This one feels different compared to the other ones. He feels, this one feels like a little more matte-y, the matte type feel. Um, it's really weird. Uh, it's hard to explain that. But yeah, it feels like it's like kind of like that grainy matte type feel. Um, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and roll him and just see what happens here. We're gonna roll it from here and there we go cool and that's it so there's pegatrix there he does have the two little hex holes there uh, and you should have one more oh right on the back of the head right there um and that's the hex holes there and you get the 400 b power at the bottom there um does look really cool i don't think this one has any like uh, manual parts i don't think yeah, it doesn't have any manual parts. So this one doesn't have any manual parts, so you don't have to worry about anything pulling out, um, which is really nice about this one. Um, so yeah, so there is that there, and my dog is barking in the background. Um, thank you, dog. Um, and uh, that is the Aquas Pegatrix. To close her up, you do this, 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 and you just kind of close it all together. You just smush it again together, and then, of course, you roll them over just like that um so yeah so that is the aquas pegatrix and the arliss uh nilius and the Chaos trucks there i hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you click that like button down below uh and uh if you're new go ahead and click that subscribe button become a cousin click that bell icon so you guys get notified of videos just like this one here because we'll be doing some more unboxing of some really powerful bahugan that we'll be opening up just like this nilius ultra here that we opened up um so we'll be doing some more um so make sure you stay tuned for those there and remember ohana means family family someone gets left behind or forgotten ah i'll see y'all next time bye